Lee Sung-gi was born in Seoul, South Korea, on January 10, 1987. While little is known about his family history, it is well known that he comes from an extremely wealthy South Korean business family. In elementary and middle school, Lee Sung-gi did well in class. He excelled in sports, academics, and the arts on an equal footing and was chosen president of the student council throughout all four years of middle and high school. He picked up fluency in English, Japanese, and Korean at school. The fact that he picked up all three languages at his school speaks something about his intelligence. Lee Sunji loved music and arts since his early teenage years and spent hours listening to music. The band Maroon 5 was highly successful in South Korea in those days, and it became an inspiration for Lee Sunji as well. While in high school, Lee Sunggi had a school band and the band performed in a small theater owned by a popular 1980s singer named Lee Sun-hee. After Sun he heard Lee Sunggi's music. Sun he asked Sunggi to pursue music professionally. At that time, Lee Sunggi did not know Lee Sian hees figure and refused an offer from Lee Sian hee Then Lee Sunggi I got home and told his mother about Lee Sun hee His mother explained how popular singer Lee Sun hee was in the 1980s. From his mother's words, Sunggi decided to work with Lee Sun Hee and underwent training for two years. Not only about singing, Lee Sunggi also cares about his education. He continued his education and graduated from Dongguk University with a major in international business and law in 2009. Lee Sunggi also has a smart brain, and it was seen when he received a special achievement award during his graduation at that time. Then, Lee Sung-gi continued his postgraduate education at the same campus as the media departments of cultural contents. At the beginning of his career, Lee Sung-gi entered Korean entertainment as a solo singer. He made his debut in the music world on June 5 in 2004 with a song called Because You're My Girl, which was written by PSY. From his first album The Dream of a Moth, Lee Sung Ji's age at that time was 17 years old with the management agency Hook Entertainment. Successful with his debut as a solo singer, Lee Sung Ji won the Best Newcomer Award at various music award ceremonies in 2004, such as the Net KM Music Festival and the Seoul Music Awards. In 2007, he also won the Best Male Solo Award. Artist at the Net KM Music Festival Success as a singer, Lee Sung-gi tried to add to his career in acting. In 2006, he appeared in the drama Famous Jeel Princesses and became the first to call Lee Sung-gi as an actor. In 2007, Sung-gi appeared on the variety show One Night, Two Days of the variety show made people know more about him. With people getting to know Lee Sung-gi, he got an offer as the male lead in a drama called Brilliant Legacy in 2009. The drama received a high rating of 47.1%. This huge success increased Lee Sung-gi's popularity as an actor and increased advertisement offers for Lee Sung-gi. Not only that, Lee Sung-gi received the Excellence in Acting Award, the Top 10 Stars Award, and the Best Couple Award with Han Hyo-ju at the 2009 SBS Drama Awards from to his drama on Brilliant Legacy. In 2010, Lee Sung-gi was entrusted with being the main actor in the drama entitled My Girlfriend is a Gumiho. The drama was also successful and got high ratings. From to the drama My Girlfriend is a Gumiho, Lee Sung-gi won another award in the category of excellence in acting at the 2010 SBS Drama Awards. With Lee Sung-gi's increasingly popular career, Lee Sung-gi is known for his clean and positive image as an actor where he is clean of scandals, for the course of his career. Not enough talent in singing and acting. Lee Sung-gi tried other talents as a presenter. He was appointed as a presenter on programs such as Strong Heart with Kong Hodong and also the Produce 48 event on net. Regarding the love stories of the artists being discussed, including Lee Sung-gi's love story, which was in the spotlight. In 2014, Dispatch revealed that there was a special relationship between Lee Sung-gi and Girls' Generation's Yuna. Dispatch showed evidence through the photos he had spread, both agencies confirmed that they were dating. But unfortunately, the love story of Lee Sung-gi and Yuna only lasted a short time. A year later, it was confirmed that Lee Sung-gi and Yuna had broken up. In accordance with Korean legal obligations, 
if a man is obliged to follow military service. Likewise with Lee sung -gi. on February 1, 2016, he joined his mandatory military service for 21 months as an active soldier and joined the Nansen Army Recruitment Training Center in Chungcheong Namdu. Lee sung -gi was officially discharged from the military on October 31, 2017 in Jungpying Ward, North Chungcheong Province, where he was a member of the Special Forces 13th Special Forces Brigade Black Panther. Special Warfare Command of the Republic of Korea Army. After his mandatory military service, Lee Sung-gi continued to shine in his career. He starred in various dramas, namely A Korean Odyssey in 2017, Vagabond in 2019, Mouse 2021, and finally La Café in 2022. His love story remains in the spotlight, where in 2020, Lee Sung-gi was found to be in a relationship with actress Lee Dae-in, the two of whom have been dating since 2020. After the two confirmed their dating status, Dispatch released photos of Lee Sung-gi while with Lee Dae-in. He had even taken his girlfriend to meet her grandmother. Known for his clean attitude from scandals, Lee Sung-gi still gets malicious comments. In 2021, Lee Sung-gi experienced psychological stress as a result of being hit by bad rumors about himself. So that made Lee Sung-gi take care and visit a psychiatrist. Not only that, previously Lee Sung-gi also experienced excessive anxiety disorders. And in 2022, the figure of Lee Sung-gi became a topic of conversation because the Lee Sung-gi case was revealed, namely regarding his career as a singer. The disclosure of a case that occurred between Lee Sung-gi and the agency Hook Entertainment which had collaborated with Lee Sung-gi from the time he debuted as a singer until 2022. The second case came out to the public after Lee Sung-gi asked for transparency in payment of fees while being an artist under Hook Entertainment. This case heated up after Dispatch revealed that Lee Sung-gi allegedly did not receive royalties or wages from his music for 18 years of work. In fact, Dispatch also released an audio recording that was allegedly the voice of the CEO of Hook Entertainment, namely Kwon Jin Young, who was cursing and about to threaten Lee Sung-gi. As of November 21, 2022, quoted from Dispatch, Lee Sung-gi has released 137 songs and 27 albums in the last 18 years. According to information taken from Dispatch, from October 2009 to September 2022, Lee Sung-gi's music career generated 9.6 billion won in revenue. Still from the Dispatch report, Lee Sung-gi often thinks of himself as a low-income singer. With the incident that happened to him, Lee Sung-gi terminated his contract with Hook Entertainment. The announcement was made by legal representatives from Lee Sung-gi on December 1, 2022. Lee Sung-gi's attorney also revealed that Lee Sung-gi had brought his case to court and had reported the CEO of Hook Entertainment for cases of embezzlement and fraud. Those are some facts about Lee Sung-gi's career. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. Thank you.